Hey, would she leave him for a sugar daddy? Yo, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and share it. Subscribe, comment down below what y'all want to see. But let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. Yeah. Will Josh's girlfriends become another man's sugar baby? Today we put together a test to help him find out. Do you know like how many guys she was talking to on the site? Like was she talking to just one or was she talking to like I don't want to know. I don't want to know. So we actually met Josh on the sets of our other channel. After the shoot, he told us that he wanted to pull this test because he caught Becca using a sugar dating app behind his back. Other men were paying Becca to talk on the phone, go on dates, and possibly even more. I'm sure Becca was making a lot of money, but Josh wasn't cool with it. Like morally, or not even morally, for the sake of the relationship, how is that right? Like it doesn't fly with you? No, the girl is going on a date with another guy, but she's not doing anything with them. Regardless, that's f***ed up. Josh worked things out with Becca because she told him that she wouldn't have been on the app if she knew that he wasn't okay with it. Well, today Josh is gonna find out if that's true. I don't think no nigga would be okay with that, but okay. With this test. First and foremost, how are you doing, dude? I'm doing good. You it's actually good. good to be back. Wait, you know? bro, bro, I know you. I know you from another video. To be back, <laughs> the thoughts of uh, being a sugar daddy is uh, funny, but <laughs> definitely grateful and appreciative to actually be here, come back and actually get back in help with everything. Hello? Yo, yo, just making sure that you guys are still coming through? Yeah, everything's good. We're still coming through. All right, cool. We'll see you when you get here then. All right, see you. So this is where we're going to be watching and listening in to everything that's happening upstairs. We left Carlos there. He's by himself. We're just waiting for Josh to arrive. Yo, what's good, yo? All right, smooth, smooth. Stay where you are. I'm just going to come get you because it's low-key a mission. I'm going to head down right now. Dope. All right, this is it. Carlos would help Josh how his friend Dorian once helped him. He will pretend to be rich and ask Becca to become his sugar baby. Being that Becca now knows that Josh wouldn't be cool with this, she should have no issue in turning Carlos down. Unless, of course, she simply isn't loyal. Check out the crib, though. I'll be waking up to this every single morning. Carlos was pretending to be Josh's good friend who just bought this luxury condo. Josh managed to bring Becca here by convincing her to come check it out with him. Yeah, this is the living room. Of course, you got the great view. If you guys come over here, it's actually the bedroom. Everything is looking good so far. I honestly hope she passes the test for Josh's sake. Let me go ahead and let me show you guys the balcony. This guy's so rich, he just has hundreds in the couch. Oh, yeah, go ahead and leave that there. I'll probably like do something with it, I don't know. Come outside, enjoy the view. While unintentional, Josh almost blew our cover. The Billy found was not real, but luckily Becca didn't think much of it and just set it on the counter. <laughs> Y'all see the view? It's mad beautiful out here. We now had to get Josh out of there so that Carlos could make his move, but we had to do so without making Becca suspicious. We are going to give them a lot of time to get comfortable with each other and just break the ice. Carlos would be giving Josh his cue to leave when he felt that Becca was comfortable enough to stay on her own. He introduced her to his dog, Yuki. Hi. Is she a puppy? She looks so little. Yeah, she's still a baby. Have you guys ate today, though? And he even went as far as to ordering food from a nearby restaurant. Always good, boss. Yeah, yes, sir. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Goodies. <laughs> you want to say bye before I put it down? Oh, um, bye, honey. You guys will probably not feel how long this test is because it'll be edited, but, like, I'm feeling it. Hey, bro, now that I think of it, where'd you park it? Downstairs. Oh, this is it, guys. Bro, they towed like a mother here. Like dead ass. Come out to the balcony with me. I'm gonna show you exactly where you can park. Come over here. At last, Carlos gave Josh his cue to make his exit. So you see the parking lot across the street? So you're good literally in any of those spots. I'm gonna go down there and move my car right now. You gonna move right now? No, it's okay, thank you. Just enjoy your food, yeah. Perfect. Take this. You get lost, bro. Hit me, bro. I'll be getting lost myself around here. Josh is pretending to go move his car so that it doesn't get towed, but in reality, he is making his way over to us. Damn, my bad. I should have definitely told him about parking once you guys pulled up here. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? What is good, my guy? What's good? Good to see you. How you doing? You ready for this? Let's get you mic'd up and let's figure out how we're gonna sit down here. But how's everything been? Good. Yeah, everything's good with you. Yeah. Work. Yeah, no, I mean, the food industry be super ass. I mean, it's okay. I, like, I'm not a huge fan of my, like, managers. Carlos was now free to make his move, but first, we were going to have Josh give him a quick phone call. The last thing we want is Becca thinking that you're going to walk in through the door at any minute. So hopefully with this phone call, she thinks that you're going to be away for at least 20 minutes, and that'll give Carlos plenty of time to make a move on her without her being scared that you're going to walk in through the door and stuff. Oh, 
Hold on. Yos? Hey, bro. I kind of wanted an energy drink. Do you, would you happen to have any in your fridge? Bro, to be honest, I don't. I know that there's like a gas station or a liquor store that's like a couple blocks away, maybe. I'm gonna grab some. All right, bet. I'll see you in like 20 minutes, okay? Sounds good, bro. Yeah. Same. Yeah, he said he's probably gonna be like maybe like 20 minutes. Cool. So we just bought Carlos 20 minutes to make his move. Hey, you're actually a good, a good vibe. You seem like a good person. You seem super bright. You know, you're super energetic. You have a contagious smile. You know. So. Actually, do you have a? Can I use your restroom? Uh, yeah. If you come over here, it's right here in the bedroom. Oh dang, she, she used the restroom. Yeah, just uh, make sure you take off your shoes too. I just really don't want to get my carpet dirty. Yeah, I yeah. I just like to keep the carpet clean. Dang, we bought them 20 minutes and Becca's burning through them in the restroom. <laughs> really quick, sir. Can I have you actually stay over here in the middle because when you come this way, his face gets in your way. There we go, perfect. <clears throat> All right, here we go, guys. Becca's out of the restroom. Everything okay? Yeah. All right, smooth, smooth. Yeah, you go ahead and put your shoes back on if you'd like, you know, make yourself comfortable. This is it, listen up, okay? I'm just over here all into it. The future of health is not a thing that tracks your heart rate night and day that gives you the most accurate sleep data. So the day's been good to you? Today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far so good. Okay, okay. Back to work tomorrow. Uh, I see, I see. What are your dreams and stuff like that? What do you actually like want to do besides? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think I'm trying to figure it out a little bit. Uh -huh. I want to travel. Mm -hmm. like, I want to go to Europe and I want to go to like Spain. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, you good, you good. Like if that could be my career. You and, know what I mean? and why haven't you? Because I work at a restaurant. You can hear good? Yeah. And how's the pay? How's the what? The pay. Uh, I've, had, I've had better, I've had worse. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you need help financially? Like, like what do you mean? Look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it straightforward with you. I pay for, for, for like women's, I guess you could say, their presence. You know, just take care of them, pay their bills. You know, help them get around. It's a win-win. You know, I help pay. They keep company. Everyone is happy at the end of the day. You kind of get what I'm, um, what I'm throwing at you. I. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what do you mean? I'm a sugar daddy. Okay. You're someone that I can see that I can definitely provide for. Your energy is super contagious, and it's something that, you know, I would love to see more of. You know, you're struggling and everything like that, and I feel like I can give you an easier option. <laughs> like, are you, like, ask, like, what are you asking me? Like, what? I'm asking you to be my sugar daddy. <laughs> I ain't never had a Becca before. I'm dating Josh, though. You don't have to leave Josh. That's totally your, your decision. I don't really care about that. My, 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 my point is with you. I know you got bills, right? They be expensive? I mean. Does Yosh help you with your bills? No. I can easily pay for those. You got Apple Pay, right? Yeah. Give me your number. My phone number. Give me your number. What do you, like, for what? This is where things get interesting. See, before the test, we sent Carlos $300. Let me know when you get it. <laughs> I would not use this wisely. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos will now send this money to Becca to help her pay some bills and to prove to her that he means business. How much is your water bill? Like twenty dollars. Sent you twenty. Like Did you get the twenty? Twenty dollars. Yeah. Like why? I don't. I mean, you say you need help with your bills, right? Oh. What else you got? What, what? What? What's another bill do you have? What's your? What's your electric bill? Like Forty. 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 Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna help, help you take care of the bills. This is what you need, right? This is what you need to get done so you can do what you want to do. Are you serious right now? Yeah, hey, you just got the 40. I'm about to go ahead and slide over you, like 150. You're not gonna send me 150 dollars. You think I'm playing? Like, why? Like, I just, like, I just met you. Like, I... Hey, it's really nothing, to be honest. I take care of all my babies. All, all my babies be taken care of. All your babies? Yeah. You could be one of my babies if you want to. I showed you exactly what I could do, how, how easy I could provide for you, get it done just like that. Not yet. <laughs> I know you're thinking about it. I know it's probably running through your mind this entire time. I just gave you proof and gave, let you see right then and there that I can do exactly what I said. You could treat it like a relationship. You can see it as a relationship if you want to, but at the end of the day, you're just getting an extra bag, right? I know it's a lot that's coming to you and stuff like that. It's a lot of stuff happening at once, but have you ever done something like this before? I mean, not like, I don't know. I'm kind of 
online. You don't gotta lie. Okay, you, well, I used to, but just like over the phone and texting, like I've never met anyone that, I, that sent me money. And where'd you meet them at? Like a website. Which one? I know they got like a, a lot of them on there. Yeah, uh, seeking arrangements. Seeking arrangements. But I never met up with them. Like, I never met up with them. But you were talking to them? Yeah, but I stopped. And I, what made you actually initiate, actually want to go do, I mean, go do that? Like, it was like easy and like they were usually really nice. I mean, I never like feel like anyone like took advantage of me or anything. And so I don't know. I mean, why wouldn't I? You know, I have a bunch of friends that did that as well. So what's the difference between you have done it before and then you doing it now with me? Okay. I'm a pretty cool, calm, collected dude. I don't feel like I cause no harm. Right. But like, what would you want? Like for me, like I never even had to meet them in person. Like mm -hmm. it's all online. Damn. Sounds like she's considering it. What we do is we'll go in ahead and we'll just take things slow. You know, take it day by day, conversation by conversation. We'll see exactly where the vibe goes, what type of connection we can actually build within one another. So you want to hang out? Yeah. The fool is smooth. Not his friends. Right, so that's what I'm asking. Dang. We could go out, we, we go, we could do what you want to do. We could go shopping. I'll help you with everything that you got to do. Once everything seems like it's smoothing over and it's very, very comfortable, then just let the magic happen from there, go, right? We just have to be a little more intimate. It's not just friends. Like, I'm literally helping you get to the next level. So you want to f***? Damn! Oh, God. <laughs> God, this has no idea how to respond to that. <laughs> That's a harsh term to put it, but I guess you can say that. Mm -hmm. But also, not only just... I just want to be able to provide for you, make life easier for you. You can be waking up to this every single morning. So as long as you're 100% sure you are down with it and you're down for me, don't just be down with the money. You got to be down for me. Well, yeah, but again, like, I'm dating Josh. I know. is a good dude. Yosh is definitely a good dude. But like you say, you want to be able to travel and stuff, right? You want to yeah. be able to do things. Let's make it happen. I'm ready. Feel like you good? I got you. No, I'm... I'm actually like, I'm not down. Mm. I'm gonna send you, I'm, gonna, I'm paying you back right now all of the- What do you mean you're not down? Like I'm with Josh and I wanna be with Josh. And so I feel like- But you was just literally giving me like all this type of energy that you was kind of like, no, I'm, okay with it. I'm not, I'm not down, I don't wanna do it. I'm gonna send you the money back and like, I just feel, I just like feel really like bad. I feel gross, I like don't want to. So I'm sending it back to you right now. But I say we go and take our time. You know, you go at your pace. Well, you was kind of making the guidelines to all of this. Yeah, so like, I'm just like, I'm out. What the heck? You 100% out? Yeah, I'm, I'm not out, I don't want to do it. Is there a reason, did I do something wrong? No, I just like thought about it and like, the money's just not worth it. Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> Make sure you can find other shit than babies, right? Yeah, I just, like, don't, but. I just don't feel like that's like the life. I just. Like I left that behind. Like having like a sugar daddy that I like live with or whatever, you know, so. It's kind of, it's just crazy how your energy changed though. Like you really sound super confident in it. I just thought about that, I don't know. Just looked at myself in the mirror and I thought this is wrong. I guess it's understandable. I, don't, I can't argue with you. I mean, like I said, Yosh is a good dude. Now I can see he's very lucky to have someone like you by his side. So um, the offer's off the table. Good. You're ready. Is that a pass to you? That's a f pass. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. That's a pass to you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Becca turns Carlos's offer down and remains loyal to Josh. Now, to me, it sounded like she was on the verge of failing, but nonetheless, Josh considers the results of this test as a pass. Jesus Christ, I feel again. <laughs> uh, we'll just wait for him to get back. Let's try to just act like. He ain't even left, and we were just chilling, we were just eating, enjoying the food and everything like that. It's like this really big release right now. I, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. When he comes in, we just go from there. Yeah. All right, all right. Are you gonna tell her that you've been watching? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to tell her about any of this? No. Yeah, no. You're gonna call it a day here. I'm You're calling. done listening yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. You're calling. positive. Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, my apologies if it, like if I made you like feel uncomfortable or anything like that. Like it really wasn't my intention. No, it's something that's okay. Like you're basically cool. 
We are gonna send you back up there with this bag of stuff because we gotta make it look like you went to the store. You are gonna go back up there and you're just gonna play this entire thing off, okay? You know Josh is on his way back here? He should be. He should be on his way. Don't act too heavy, bro, or too sad. Just act normal. Just act normal, okay? We'll talk later. My guy. How do you go in and act normal after that like roller coaster of like emotions? Since Josh didn't want to tell Becca about the test, the plan was for him to just hang out there for a bit and then eventually make up an excuse for them to go home. Not long after he walked in though, Becca beat him to the punch. Um, I actually my coworker asked me if I could cover my shift tonight. I told her I could. So I really need to get back to make that shift. Um and I think with traffic we have to leave like now. Thanks for having us though, it was really nice. Of course. Oh dang. You can tell she's mad. It's awkward. She's mad. Yeah. She doesn't want to be there. Appreciate you. Yep. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. She was uncomfortable. I've been comfortable too with uh, Carlos trying to make me a sugar baby. I would have denied him that. <laughs> hey, my phone bill. <laughs> but yeah, bro, just hit me, be safe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, bro. always. Thanks again, man. Yes, sir. All right. If you had to give her a grade, what would you give her? Mm. It was a pass, but it wasn't an A. Okay. I feel that. Yeah. I'll give her credit because she passed. And it's you know, fair. Happened. Yeah. And it shows that she's trying. So I want to know what you guys think. In the end, Becca ended up saying no. Maybe she really changed her mind because of Josh. Maybe it was something else. Or maybe she caught on to the fact that she was being tested. I don't know. How do you guys interpret this? And if this were your relationship, what would you have done? <laughs> she said, you want to f <laughs> He took like a whole five seconds to be like, what do I say? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Bro, I don't even know what to say, but y'all, do y'all think that she passed or what it was? Cause I give it about 66 I don't know. I don't know. And I wonder if she gonna tell Josh. But yeah, don't get a like, comment, share, subscribe. And we out of it.